Hello, dear friends. How wonderful. God has given us this day. Praise God. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. He has given us this Monday in order for us to serve Him so that then from Him our daily bread may come. The Holy Spirit is the fountain of life. The Holy Spirit is the fountain of our daily bread. However, the Holy Spirit is not visible. We can't touch or see Him. We can't feel Him, isn't it? But the Holy Spirit is there, giving, giving to those who are good as well, to those who are evil, giving to the righteous as well as to the unrighteous. He gives this day, this Monday, praise God. Instead of you getting up discouraged, bitter, sad, because you have to go and face one more week ahead that is starting today, instead of that, give thanks to God because you are alive. Hallelujah. Give thanks to God because He is the one who gives us strength to go to work, the mind to think, the right to choose and make our own choices from this moment. And these choices will obviously define the future for our lives, especially the future of our soul. Anyway, may God bless your day, your Monday, our Monday, isn't it? And that He may be sanctified in us. Pay attention. Thinking of choices, the choices we have to make every day, isn't it? Every day, every hour, every moment, you have to make a choice. Either good or bad, you have to choose something. For example, you get up and you go take a shower, you're going to get dressed, and what are you going to wear, you think? Isn't it? Then you choose what you wear. And then you will go to the kitchen and then you have to choose what you're going to eat. If you have this privilege of choosing what you will eat, some people don't have it, so pour them. You have to pray for them, those who don't have such right. But may God bless their daily bread as well. The fact is that at every moment you have to choose something. So, I'd like to draw your attention to the word that Jesus places for us, because this word shows, it guides our soul, it shows the direction that our soul needs to go towards. Jesus asked the religious men, the Pharisees, who are hypocrites, the officials of a certain religion, and he asked them, for which is greater, the gift or the altar that sanctifies the gift? Pay attention. Which is greater, the gift or the altar that sanctifies the gift. And before that, he had asked, for which is greater, the gold or the temple that sanctifies the gold? And then you ask, but Bishop, okay, this question was for the religious member. How about me? Very well, this question concerns you as well. What is your choice, your daily choice at every moment? What has the choice that I have been making at every moment, every moment that I have to choose, every second of my life? I always have to make choices between thinking in the things from above or to think of the things of the earth. I have to choose between pleasing my heart or 
to please my soul, which is greater, which is greater, your heart or your soul? But Bishop, the heart is not the symbol of the soul. Yes, very well. But what do you prefer? To please your soul or to please your body and please your mind, your intelligence that directs your soul or to please your heart, your soul that wants the things from down here. When a person is spiritual, they think of the spiritual things. When they are carnal, they think of carnal things. But we know that the spiritual things are eternal. The carnal things are fleeting. Every material achievement is fleeting. It has an expiry date. And many people don't know that. Or better, they don't realize the importance of this. So, when Jesus asked the Jews, the religious men, the officials of Judaism, which is greater, the gift or the altar that empowers, that sanctifies, that receives the gift? So, when the person doesn't have discernment, spiritual discernment, then they think of the offering. They think of the offering that they are leaving there on the altar. They forget that if there is no altar, there is no offering. If there is no Holy Spirit, then what's the point of a person's life? What's the point of pleasing the flesh? What's the point of wanting and desiring to conquer the things of this world, because all of these will pass. A person may have the gold, as much gold, as much money as they want, as much success as they want. They may desire the prosperous life they want, but everything, everything, all these things will pass. The soul, however, will stay for eternity. So when Jesus said to the Jews, for which is greater, the gold or the temple that sanctifies the gold? Why did he ask that? Because those religious men were always, always focused on the gold, on the beauty, because gold is attractive. Gold is very attractive. Gold blinds the eyes. Gold blinds the understanding. However, it's the temple that sanctifies the gold. If there was no temple, then the gold would be useless. If there is no altar, the offering is useless. There is offering only because there is an altar, meaning that there is offering because there is someone to receive the offering. If there is no one to receive the offering or the gift, which is the altar, then the offering is void. It's nothing. This is the reality. So we always have to make a choice. I make my choice to think of the things under here that I see, feel, touch or eat that feeds me, that comforts my being, or to think of the things from above that are eternal. Well, those who think of the things from down here, they are bound to live for eternity in hell. And those who think of the things from above, they are able to save their soul for all eternity. Therefore, dear friend, the gold or the altar that sanctifies the gold, that empowers the gold, 
that gives a, a reason to the existence of the gold. When the disciples came to Jesus and said, Look, Lord, how beautiful, how wonderful this building. Look how great this is priceless. The Jews had such pride, a great pride of the temple built by Solomon that had been destroyed and rebuilt by Herod. And they were very proud of the temple. But Jesus said, there won't be left one stone upon another, because those who choose by the admiration they have of the temple and the gold that covers the interior of it are bound to go to hell. But those who prioritize the temple that is the house of God, the altar, which is where the Lord is receiving, He received and is receiving the offerings, which is the life, the soul of the person. The offering is not money, gold or silver. Offering represents, the offering typifies, symbolizes what is inside of the offering giver. Therefore, it's not worth looking at what is being offered on the altar, but if the altar is ready to receive that offering. So, don't look at your offering. Look at the one that will receive your offering. Without altar, there is no offering. Without altar, there is no offering. Your life is an altar. The altar of God, the temple, the dwelling place of the Holy Spirit. Therefore, you have to take care of your soul, of your being, your spiritual being. Your thoughts have to be matching God's thoughts, submissive to the kingdom of God, which is what Jesus said. Seek first the kingdom the govern of the kingdom of God, and all these things shall be added. Dear friend, think about that. This Sunday, we will be working, focused on those who have their altar destroyed, their body destroyed, because the soul is ill, the soul is living badly, those who suffer with insomnia, fear, nervousness, a void, a deep sadness, and they say that when a person is depressed, they feel such a cruel, such a deep pain in their soul, the pain of the soul is greater than the pain of the body. The pain of the soul is greater than the pain of the body, but we don't see the soul. We don't see it. However, when the soul is empty and sad, then we feel its pain. Yes or no? So, dear friend, this Sunday, we are going to be focusing all the work of the Universal Church of the Kingdom of God to help those who are suffering the pain of the soul. Let's prioritize the soul. Let us focus on the soul. Let's fight for the soul to be filled, filled of the Holy Spirit and of the thoughts of God, filled with the Word of God. Because when the Word of God comes, when the Word of God makes its dwelling place in the soul, then the soul stops being sad and it starts to have joy, happiness and radiant even before the worst problems. May God bless you all and tomorrow I'll speak more about this. But you who are like this or you know a friend, a family member, someone that is suffering in their soul, with depression, then put on this T-shirt here. Look here. This is the T-shirt that there is cure for depression. 
we are going to be in this faith. This week we are going to be dressed with this focus, thinking of the soul, thinking of those who are afflicted, those who are desperate, thinking of those who want to kill themselves, those who gave up already on their life. Let us fight for them, because while there is life, there is hope. May God bless you all, and I see you tomorrow in the name of the Lord Jesus. And don't forget, which is greater, the gold or the temple that sanctifies the gold? Which is greater, the gift or the altar, or the altar that sanctifies the gift? May God bless you, and I'll see you tomorrow in the name of Jesus. Amen.